Hello guys, today I want to talk to you how to transform initial job description from client or from your senior teammates to real plan of action for you as a developer. And I will do that based on the latest course that I've released on Laravel Daily.com homepage. You can see this is a real job description from Upwork and we'll transform that into plan of action. Because I think as a community, we don't talk enough about that. So we talk about dev skills, coding skills, but those soft skills as project management do matter. And I don't mean you need to become a project manager, but you need to evaluate the scope, evaluate the time. So usually you will get asked, how much would it take? How soon can you deliver? And for that, to answer that, you need to be able to come up with a plan of action, rough plan of action. And this is exactly what I will show in this video. This course is a text-based course, pretty huge one, 26,000 words. So you would imagine typical premium tutorial on Laravel Daily is one to 2,000 words. So this course is pretty huge and detailed of step-by-step -step creating the project, including one lesson, which is called after the first client review. So there's no real client, but imaginary client will provide you the feedback, which would lead to transformation and refactoring. But that is later. And today we're talking about client description to plan of action. And this is our initial job description from client exactly as it was on Upwork. So this is a screenshot from real job from Upwork. And we'll transform that into a step-by-step -step rough plan of action. This can be used for estimates before doing the task or when you're giving the task for yourself as internal plan. And as usual, the clients are pretty vague in describing things, especially if they are not technical. So they mentioned that the system is for reservation, that we need clients activities and generate the PDF for the trip for the guide. So there should be guide role. So from that short description, we actually need to dissect that into database structure, role structure and feature list. And also while reading that and while doing the plan, we need to ask many questions. If you don't ask the questions up front, you will get in a lot of trouble later. So first, what I try to do when reading the job description is think about database schema and models. Based on that, I came up with these database tables. So roles, users, companies, activities with the fields and participants of those activities. And at this point, our goal is not to build a perfect schema. The goal is rough estimate what are we dealing with. So we have roughly five database tables with these relationships. Then what I tend to do is transform that into Laravel project with migrations and models. And this is exactly what I do in this course, a very simple, typical, so I won't even stop here. We're adding role ID to the user model. We're adding companies and migrations. So nothing really fancy here, pivot table for the photo field. For now, I'm using string without complicating that upfront with some spicy media library or anything and scroll, scroll, scroll. Our goal is to have migrations successfully run and have this. So this should be your first milestone, whether you use it with migration in Laravel or just use pen and paper to draw something like that. And with that, you can make decisions in your head about the scope and also ask the client whether you understood that thing correctly. And even if the client is not technical, they should understand roughly that schema with the names and the tables. So this is the first milestone of like project management, transforming that into the plan of action. Next, based on that and based on the information that we processed already with the database, what are the features? And here I listed features by roles. So admin can do these things. Company owner can manage guides and activities and assign guides. And then those guides later can view activities assigned to them and export PDF. Meanwhile, public people can view activities, register to them, and as soon as they are customer, they can cancel reservations and activities. So this is the list of feature, kind of the next milestone, I would say, before plan of action. But this is not the plan of action yet. This is just the list of features. And the final step is to transform this into an ordered list because some features should be created earlier than other features because they depend on each other. And sometimes you have freedom to choose what comes before what, but in other times, even from database perspective, you need to, for example, have activities to be able to register to them, right? So with that in mind, I transformed that 
list of features into this ordered as you can see 13 items on the list plan of action and this is exactly the goal of this lesson and the ending of that project management work and with that list you can go directly to the client and ask them does it make sense did i miss anything did i understand everything correctly and in my freelancing career during my freelancing career on upwork this work which took roughly a few hours was hugely appreciated by the client because a few reasons actually first it opens the discussion to detailize some feature and notice what is missing because if we wouldn't notice that it would have huge consequences down the road then it helps both sides to evaluate the time the cost and the plan and in general it gives you more mental clarity also for both sides what are we actually doing with the first milestone so then you can decide with the client that the first milestone for reviewing the project will be these three things or four things or whatever so you can divide the work into more tangible more clear sections and finally based on that you can have the list of questions to ask client these are just example questions that i came up with during that process for example visual design that original job description didn't mention anything about visual design so should we use some template like bootstrap template or something or do they have their own designer or something like that then a few questions related to database relationships so whether it should be one to many or many to many of course from database perspective clients wouldn't answer but you can rephrase the question like this so whether a company would have one user or multiple users can the guide be assigned to one company or to multiple companies? And from that, you transform that to one to many or many to many. So yeah, although this course in general is about step-by-step -step creating a reservation project, but this first lesson is deliberately very long, very detailed, because I think it's a hugely underrated skill to be able to transform the initial job or task description into something like this more tangible. What do you think? Would you structure the plan differently? Would you ask different questions from the clients? And do you want me to shoot more videos about this specific topic, about planning, about project management? And if so, what specific questions or what specific struggles you have with that in mind? That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.